close your eyes and try to be comfortable with the breath. I mean settling in on a spot where it's easy to stay focused and regulating the rhythm and texture of your breathing. Start out with a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths, and if good those kind of breathing those kind of breaths feel good, keep up. If they don't, you can change. You can make it shorter, more shallow, heavier, lighter, faster, slower. Try to keep on top of the needs of the body. Sometimes the body likes heavy breathing for a while, and then it doesn't feel so good after a while. Then you can change. And this way the breath becomes a good place to stay. And as we work with the breath in this way, we gain both calm and insight. Calm in the sense that it gives us a good place to stay and settle down where the mind doesn't have to keep jumping around all the time, what the Buddha calls a home for the mind. When you have the breath as a home, then wherever you go, you've got your home with you. You can carry it with you. You come across the world, you've still got the breath. Right there is your home. It gives a sense of ease that soothes the body, soothes the mind. But also in the, in the process of working with the breath, you gain some insight into how much you shape your experience of the present moment. Once you change your mind about where you're going to focus your attention and what you're going to focus on for how long. Things change in the body, things change in the mind, just by that one decision, and then by t maintaining that decision. As the Buddha said, you gain insight by learning how to look at the process of fabrication and understand it. Well, this is what he's talking about. You start with the breath, and you start with the way you think about the breath. That's called fabrication, or sankara. You gain insight into that, then you begin to realize how much your intentions shape everything that you experience. So you've really got to work on your intentions. This gives you insight into the workings of the mind. So you gain calm and insight at the same time as you're working with the breath. It's good work. Work that provides a sense of ease and well-being that doesn't harm anybody. This home for the mind isn't like homes outside that require you take resources here and take resources there. All you need is the resource of your awareness and your attention and your breath. And there you are. You've got a home. And you can carry it with you. So try to make this the home for the mind, and then do your work at home. And you find that you benefit both in the sense of ease and well-being that you gain. And when you have that sense of ease and well-being, it's a lot easier to act in skillful ways. So the people around you benefit too. And you also benefit in the sense of your own understanding of your own mind. The more control you get over your own mind, the more you understand it. The less is going to ca cause any suffering for you or for anyone else. So working with the breath is an important part of the meditation. Make sure that you keep at it always. <laughs>